What's going on guys? Welcome back and this is the best time of the Premier League season for me Just before just after the preseason we've had our tour and now we're only a week away from the beginning of the season and transfers are coming in thick and fast And we saw a big one today. We got a here we go There's lots of rumors flying around but we have to talk about the here we go from Fabrizio out of nowhere No one was talking about this one it was rumoured to be going to Spurs down to three point lane. Just like Willie and he saw the light. And he turned around and he's come and joined the blue side of London. That's right, from Wolves, 53 million around, 52, 53 million. Pedro Neto through the door. How about that? After we've had a couple of here we goes in the last couple of days that haven't been very exciting for Chelsea fans we've had a here we go nearly every fucking day from Fabrizio and it hasn't been very exciting it's been mostly kids we've had that lad from Atletico Madrid that no one knows nothing about he's had a here we go we haven't had the official announcement from the club yet but it's coming very very soon we do know that for a fact I think they, they, they tried to get they're trying to get this Pedro Neto one done quite quickly and under the radar it definitely was but he is a player. Every time I've seen him play against us, he's absolutely destroyed us. I'd rather have him on our side, do you know what I mean, than against us. Um, yeah, there's some questions about his injury record, and we've had that in, with this problem in the past with a lot of other players. So um, there's nothing new, really. Is he going to be another one to join the team, or, or is this season going to be completely different from the last few seasons where? Injuries are not a massive factor. Let's hope, let's have our fingers crossed because if this lad can keep, keep fit, stay fit, he is an absolute baller. It is a truth, it is a fact. He is very, very good and would be a great addition to our squad on that left hand side, in my opinion. What a player he would be. Have him out on the left. There's some competition for places. Now, what happens to the likes of Raheem Sterling, Mikhailo Mudrik? Do they get back into this side? I doubt it, especially for the latter. Mikhailo Mudrik is done out here in my opinion a loan or a sale could be his fit in his near future same for Sterling he's had a decent pre-season don't get me wrong and Raheem Sterling could be very useful in this squad coming off the bench maybe and competing for a place with Pedro Neto on that left hand side maybe that's what Sterling needs someone who can actually compete with him for a place rather than that useless piece of whatever we're going to call him Mikhailo Mudrik who hasn't been good enough let's face the facts waste of money we got absolutely rinsed for that one but we have to mark it down as a mistake and carry on so far in, in this window people have been complaining are you complaining now Pedro Neto experienced Premier League player who's going to make a difference in attack we've seen what he can do he's got that experience that is so invaluable he's 24 so it's a good age still he's not too young he's not too old perfect age in my opinion to be coming through the door a great transfer this one's got the Chelsea fans a bit more hyped up this is what we've been looking for we've had enough of these kids coming through the door even I'm getting a bit annoyed by it now we've had one too many kids and we've needed some proper transfer a proper transfer and this is it Pedro Neto through the door for Samuel on Meridian I don't know anything about the lad I really don't so I don't know what we're getting for 30 million um, the other transfers we've made the other kids they're, they're just kids and they're not going to really be impacting the first team like them like some Mark Gui we saw on um, pre-season he looked alright but he's one for the future Amari Kellerman from Aston Villa again one for the future this lad from Boca Juniors Aaron Anselmino he's gone straight back on loan to him so he's another one that we're not going to see for a while yet if we ever see him he's probably going to be one that's just going to be flipped for a profit Philip Jorgensen He's definitely going to be competing for places with Robert Sanchez. I mean, the goalkeeper situation is one that we need to keep an eye on this season. I'm still not convinced. I would have liked for a more experienced number one, but it is what it is. We will give Jorgensen some backing and see what he can do. Renato Vega, I'm pretty sure he's sticking around for this season. They might be looking to loan him out and flip him for a profit. Who knows? The other two are definite first squad um players definitely Keenan Dewsbury Hall 30 million from Leicester I like that transfer I like what I've seen from the lad so far he's looked pretty decent in pre-season from what he's done from the little bit he's seen, we've seen from him um, I'm happy with that one and tossing Adrobio on a free 
hasn't impressed me so far and there, there's question marks about all our centre backs at the moment and we need to he needs to Maresca pick two and let them gel and let them build a relationship with each other we can't just keep swatch, swipping, swapping and changing it every week in week out match after match and not building a relationship between the centre backs that was a massive problem last season our defence was, was awful and it's not looking like it's got any better in pre-season um, as for the outs we said goodbye to Conor Gallagher um, sorry to see him go but understandable I hope he, he's going to do well at Atletico Madrid I do believe that he He'll be all right out there with Aspi. He'll look after him. Ian Matson to Villa. That one stings a little bit. I've got to say, I would have liked to have seen him stay at Chelsea and been given a chance, but he's gone to Villa and he's going to ball out there, in my opinion. Lewis Hall to Newcastle was what it was. Amari Hutchinson to Ipswich. Well, yeah, that was just flipping for a profit, just like Lewis Hall. Understandable. Hakim Ziyech leaves on a free. Thank God for that. Thank you and so long to Thiago Silva on a free. And same for Malang Sar, finally got him out the door. We've done some good business in this window. Alfie Gilchrist going on loan to Sheffield United. And like I said earlier, Ansel Mino came in and went straight back out again to Boca Juniors on loan. Um, there was another here we go yesterday, that Pedder's goalkeeper from Genk. And he's just going to be sent straight back out on loan again. I don't know what's going on with this goalkeeper situation. It's a bit um, of a mystery really we've got so many goalkeepers and we're bringing in so many more and we've had Petrovic who did really well last season looking like he's going out the door where they're flipping him for a straight profit straight away Sanchez looks like he's going to be the number one competing with Jorgensen who I'm not convinced about already from what I've seen from the lad but I'm willing to give him a chance and then they're, they're bringing in more Pedders and there'll probably be a one or two more goalkeepers before the end of this transfer window. It's ridiculous how many goalkeepers we've, we've got on our books. Uh, but it is what it is. Let's see where it goes. But the rumours, uh, they're saying at Chelsea, even though we've got Pedro Neto through the door, we're still looking for one more attacking player. Um, the window's not done for us yet. The rumour out there is still, we're still interested and still discussing things with Victor Osserman and that would be the one that everyone wants really there are a couple of other strikers we definitely need a striker there's a few more out there that we could be looking at and bringing in but yeah definitely for me he's the one that we need to get him through the door then I'm happy if we have to pay what we pay then we pay it get him through the door there's players that we can get out and get rid of like Lukaku going the other way there's this interest with um, Kepa as well from Napoli as well supposedly so we could get a few players to, from in this deal and sort it out and get somehow get Osimhen through the door it's going to be a late one but I'm happy with what we've got so far if we have to wait for that one I'm not too stressed really to be honest with you I'm happy with our squad yeah I would love to have one more one more attacking player one more striker one more striker who's going to bag some goals um, as for the goalkeeper situation like I said Petru uh, Kepa's going out he looks like he's done um, he's never going to play for this club again um, where he goes who knows but he's definitely not playing for Chelsea anymore um, Petrovic it's like I said Napoli could be is, are interested um, but we'll see where that goes there's going to be interest from a couple of clubs I do believe for Kepa but it's his wages man no one's going to want to pay that for him and he didn't have a great time at Madrid they don't want him back so where he goes who knows Petrovic this is a sad one and it's understandable they, I thought they were going to try and sell him but the, the rumours are at the moment that looks like they could be loaned to Strasbourg um, there was rumours of Fiorentina but that's unlikely now after they signed De Gea so I don't know what's going to happen with this one it's, it's sad that he's been just pushed to the side really and not give, been given a ch even a chance um, yeah he, he was so good last season yeah he wasn't the greatest with his distribution and a couple of goals he conceded weren't um fantastic goalkeeping from him and he could have done better but I would have liked him to, him to have been given more of a chance this season he hasn't really been given that he's just been another one that's just been pushed to the side really um, Trevor Chalobah like we, we know he's on the way out another one that's been flipped for pure profit it's understandable um, I'm sad to see the lad go he's been fantastic for us um, was never get meant to get to where he got to really was he but he did I liked his story and uh, it's sad he played really well at the back end of last season so 
But yeah, there's interest. Of course, there's interest from Premier League clubs for him. The likes of Crystal Palace and West Ham. I wouldn't be surprised if he rocks up at one of those two. Um, there will be a few other clubs interested in him. I'm sure towards the end of the window, we will be saying goodbye to Trevor Chalabar. Another Cobham graduate who's definitely going out the door is Armando Broya. Um, with interest from Wolves, maybe we've done like we've said we've done some dealing already with Wolves today, so we've got a bit of a relationship there. It could be very easy to send Broya the other way and get some money back from the Pedro Neto deal. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Also, Everton are interested, but supposedly they need to sell to buy. Calvert Lewin needs to go out the door before they do any business. It could happen. There are a few teams interested in Calvert Lewin, and it's not a surprise. He did quite well to be back in the last season as well. He was came back and did quite well for him um, so Broya could be the answer there for Everton um, news today broke again not that long ago that um, Leicester um, looked like they're going to loan Datro for Farn David Datro for Farna for a season um, all down for that um, wouldn't be surprised if there's the option for a buy in there as well for the lad um, I can't see him getting into the Chelsea team to be honest with you now um, not with the strikers we've already looked like they're coming through the door and more um, he's kind of been forgotten about really he had a good loan at Burnley last season scored a couple of goals looked good and we haven't given him a chance um, last room I want to talk about is a young lad that looks like again pure profit another Cobham graduate could be on the way out again um, we haven't seen a lot of him what I've seen from him he looks very very good from what I've heard like he is going to be class um, Josh Achapong, um, the defender, um, we saw a little bit of him on pre-season tour, we saw him de uh, have a couple of minutes last season, um, but from what I've heard from people who watch um, the youth development squad and what he's done there, he is a very good, very, very good talent and one people don't want to see leave, but it looks like he could be on the way out with PSG and Real Madrid sniffing around. They're looking to do a deal for uh, roughly around 12 million and again that's pure profit straight into the pocket isn't it really um, uh, there's a few other players likely to go out on loan supposedly there's been rumours of Uga Chukwu, Angelo, Mark Gill, Tyreek George, Josh Chapong like I said could be going on loan but could be sold to Real Madrid or Bas uh, PSG and David Washington who we've never really seen much of either he ain't going to get much of a sniff this season is he um, but let me know what you think down below thanks for watching Pedro Neto through the door what a transfer that is and if you're new please smash the subscribe button and I'll see you next time